I'm going to demonstrate the use of Debut Video Capture software to carry out a screen recording. And then I'm going to open the screen recording up in VLC player and make screenshots from it. So I'm just going to open up Microsoft Edge and I'm going to search for a Debut Video Capture software. and this should take us straight to their website and because i'm going to use it for non-commercial use and actually advertise their own software in this tutorial video i'm going to use the non-commercial version so installation of the software is easy and i'm just going to maximize it now so what we can do is we can go to tools and then options so we have the options to capture from a webcam or carry out a screen capture. We also have the audio options if we've got any microphones installed. So we'll be warned that the debut window will now be hidden. I'm going to select do not show this message again and then I'm going to select start recording. In most cases, we don't need to use the fast capture mode. The fast capture mode will give you a lot more frames, but it will make the video size much larger. It's only really necessary if you're capturing in gaming or something. For the sake of most purposes, it doesn't need to be used. So in the meantime, I went to the VLC player website and I've just downloaded VLC player and I'm just going through the installation of VLC player so I've just launched installer accepted the user account control prompt and then I'm selecting next next and waiting for the installation to finish So I can now select finish to launch the LC player. So let's just minimize this for just now and let's just close down edge as well. And let's open up the Butte video capture software. And we'll see that it's still recording. So we can select stop now and we've got the notification that the recording has been finished so what we can do now is just open up the videos folder and here we've got a debut folder and in this folder is our untitled one which is our screen recording So we can open up our screen recording of the installation of VLC player in VLC player and we can play it back as a video as normal. And of course what we can do is we can go to the video menu at the top and then we can select take a snapshot. and we can open this snapshot. So this snapshot is of course the selection of the language, in this case, English. So I can right click it and I can select edit and open up in paint. And here I would be able to crop it as necessary or highlight some of the buttons just to make it more obvious. Both the screen recording and the snapshots from the screen recording can be very useful if you're asking technical support questions or if you're running a guide to help someone. Hopefully you found this software to be useful in the same manner that I have. I use this software quite extensively.